Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Hello peeps, how's it going? Long time no see. Matt Sparks here, this is Sundays with Sparky, as usual. Well, I say as usual, it hasn't been very usual, has it? Um, so I'll start off uh, by firstly apologising for the lack of content for the last two weeks. Um, after my uh, trip to Bloodstock, which is this video that's playing in the background, um, I came back for a few days, had a couple of shifts at work, um, and then found out that I wasn't actually, because I booked some time off, uh, I'd actually got a couple of weeks, of, like solid weeks, off. So um, I had booked some time off to go and visit my friends up in Yorkshire, and turns out that they didn't need me for the beginning of that week, so off I went. It was a little bit um, spare at the moment, a little bit impromptu, but um, so that's, that's why there was no Sundays with Sparky. Uh, last week or the week before, although there is some, I did get some random footage, so I'll put that in here. Hello peeps, uh, a very sweaty, hot Matt Sparks here. Um, there's not really going to be much going on on the channel this week, because uh, uh, I've, I've only just got back from, uh, from Bloodstock uh, last weekend, or well, on Monday. Uh, it's now the Sunday, so this should be a Sunday with Sparky, which it kind of will be. Uh, although I have no idea when it's going to go up, um, because I'm off again on my travels. Uh, I'm going up north, well, I'm trying to, hopefully, this time, without my car destroying on me. Um, destroying on me? That, that doesn't sound right. Being destroyed. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just about to leave. I've just got a few bits from the local Tesco's. Uh, other shopping supermarket places are available, obviously. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just about to go. I've got about 300 miles to drive, or thereabouts. And so today, this is kind of going to be today's Sundays with Sparky, but yeah. Uh, I don't know when it's going to go up, so there's that. So yeah, um, I have brought, I am taking my computer with me, so I might do some stuff. Uh, while I'm there, but I can't guarantee I'm actually going to upload anything while, while, I'm, while I'm there, but we shall see. I might be able to get this up at least. Ooh, uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, so uh, I'll see you later. Bye! Okay, and now you're back. I think there was also some other random footage. I'll put that in here. Film the sheep. Film the crazy kamikaze sheep. This will be up for you, not All right, so um, that's making a weird noise. Let's just mute that. Okay. Um, hi. Uh, so yeah, Bloodstock was awesome. Really, really good time at Bloodstock. That was great. Uh, and I intend to go again next year, probably depending on what the lineup's like. Um, but uh, if you've never been. Or if you're into like metal or heavy rock, more metal, uh, then you should probably check it out because the atmosphere is so much better than uh, Download Download Festival. Um, the last time I went to Download Festival, it just everyone just seemed to be not very friendly. Um, that might have just been me, I don't know, but I just got, got the impression that there were a lot of, lot of dickheads there and people that just wanted to get really, really drunk and potentially getting fights or, you know, it was just that kind of atmosphere that just was, didn't seem like a, a nice place to be. And the stages are so far away from each other that it was just a nightmare to get from one stage to another within a decent amount of time so you'd end up missing like the beginning of a set because you just took you so long to get there um admittedly i haven't been for the, to download for the last few years so i don't know if they've changed or not but this is just my experience from 
sort of 2005, 2006. Um, so yeah, I prefer it to, to download Bloodstock all the way, baby. Hells yeah. Okay, so that was Bloodstock. Uh, I, uh, what have I seen? I've seen the Wolverine. I don't know if I covered that in the last one. It was alright. It, it, you know, I mean, I, I'm not a, f I'm not a follower of the of the comic books particularly, but I know that Wolverine could go apeshit crazy in the uh, in the comic books and just destroy everyone. And I was so hoping that it was going to happen in this movie, but it didn't. Spoilers. Probably should have mentioned that. Um, and I think it's because they're sticking to what's come before it because this is the Wolverine is like a sequel it's like the next part of the story from X-Men Last Stand movie with Jean Grey and all the rest of them so uh, I think that's probably why it yeah I mean, it's certainly better than Origins, X-Men, uh, Wolverine Origins thing. Um, even though that had Gambit in it, and Gambit was one of my favourites from the... When I used to watch the cartoon series on a Saturday morning as a kid. Gambit was always one of my favourites. So seeing Gambit in that one kind of made it a bit better for me, but it still wasn't great. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um... Yeah, so I saw that before I went to Bloodstock, and then uh, I went and saw Elysium with Matt, Matt Damon. Um, <laughs> he's never, he's never going to be able to get rid of that. Well, I, I haven't been able to refer to him without at least once saying it like that. I can say it now, Matt Damon. It's fine, but you have to say it at least once. Um. Yeah, anyway, that was great. Uh, well, mm, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, well, yeah, it wasn't great. Okay, it wasn't great. It was good, definitely good, and probably worth seeing if you like that sort of thing. If you enjoyed District 9, um, it wasn't as good as District 9, but it was certainly it was certainly enjoyable and fun and exciting in the right places, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It was lacking something. I'm not sure what it was that was that it was lacking, but it was definitely lacking something. Um, but it's certainly fun, definitely fun. But they're the only two movies I've seen in the last two weeks. Actually, no, that's not true. I have seen some other movies, uh, but none of them were. They were kind of like on the TV or whatever. So there's nothing like majorly uh, important, particularly. Uh, certainly none thing that I, I think oh, I must tell you about this movie that I watched because it was incredible oh I watched The Hunger Games for the first time that was pretty good I suppose certainly better than I was expecting and not it, it had an element to it that I wasn't expecting as well which kind of was, was kind of a pleasant surprise I suppose some of it was a bit silly. Some of it I'd found a bit far-fetched and unbelievable. Um, but on the whole, I found it quite enjoyable, which was a surprise to me because I didn't think I would. So there you go. Um, so yeah, while I was up in Yorkshire, I didn't do very much. But that was the plan, to just go up there and chill out with my friends. Um, did try and go Whit to Whitby. I wanted to go to Whitby to take some photographs because every time I go up there, I'm like, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go. I'm, next time I'm up in Yorkshire, I'm gonna make sure I take some photographs. And I always come back without taking any photographs. So this time I was like, right, we're going to Whitby, and I'm going to take some photographs. <laughs> so I went. I went to Whitby. I went there, and the road from Pickering, which is the town I was staying in in North Yorkshire. The road from there to Whitby is glorious, it's fantastic, there's some great views and if you're up in that area and you haven't been to that area, 
then you should because it's beautiful. Um, so we got to Whitby and it was obviously the day that everyone else in the world wanted to go to Whitby. So that was fun. Drove around virtually every car park, well certainly every car park that I'm aware of uh, and there was signposted. Just went to every single one <sighs> and they were all full and we were seeing people uh, that were going in as we were coming out of car parks. We were seeing them in the other car parks as well, still looking for spaces. So, <laughs> and the weather wasn't very good either. The weather it was really cloudy, and um, and because of like all the hills and stuff, uh, it was really it was kind of quite misty as well. And I was just like, even if I do manage to get some photographs, they're not going to come out very well because the light's terrible. Because I wanted to go up to see the Abbey because that's all you know. Bram Stoker and Dracula and you know that kind of thing and um, so I wanted to go up there and take some photos of the Abbey but it was so misty up there because of the low cloud uh, that I wouldn't have been able to get any it, it, it would have either made the photos look awesome and spooky or just terrible um, oh. I'll put that one on and um, yeah, so I was a bit disappointed. So we, we ended up leaving in the end because we just could not find anywhere to park the car. What the hell's going on with that? It's just taking its sweet time. Um, that means I've been talking for about 10 minutes. Because the other one's finished. What is going on? Oh, forget it, doesn't matter. Um, you can just have that going around in the background while I'm talking. <laughs> anyway, uh... What was I saying? Oh, for God's sake, I hate when this happens. Yes, so, oh, that's right, yeah. So, as we're coming out of Whitby, um, there was just this huge queue of traffic. Of cars, and caravans, and camper vans, and trucks, and vans, and lorries, and just vehicles, as far as the eye could see. Some trailing other things. I think there was a few that had... Uh, the jet ski things on the back of oh man it was. It must have been a good mile or so just trying to get into Whitby and I was like mm, my god this was not a good day to choose <laughs> so that was unfortunate um, but I had a nice time while I was up there um, oh I went for a lunch at a, a pub uh kind of near Scarborough um, and it's called the Denison Arms and they do the best roast duck I think I've ever had not that I've had a lot of roast duck but like that's my thing whenever I go there I'm like I have to have the roast duck because it's so good so good um, and they do it as you can get it as part of like a roast dinner with like broccoli and carrots and parsnips and potatoes and roast potatoes and other stuff that's amazing cabbage I think just just generally and then the plates are like this they're like huge and they put the gravy on there because northern lads love gravy so you've got to put lots of gravy on it and, oh it's glorious and it's not expensive either really for what you're getting it's pretty good and it's all fresh produce because there's farms like everywhere so it's like oh well we'll just get fresh produce from the farms so good so good so yes if i recommend the denison arms but make sure you book because it gets busy if you don't book you might not get someone to sit down but it's amazing and you should go there and you should eat everything because it's glorious this is gonna annoy me one second okay well forget that um yeah so that was that was my little trip into oh and the other thing for God's sake <laughs> the other thing I've been doing is watching uh, an awful lot of videos and streams about the Hearthstone beta now if you don't know what Hearthstone is it's the new collectible card game video game uh, from Blizzard who make 
it's called uh, Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft, so it's kind of got all their um, uh, World of Warcraft characters and Warcraft characters and stuff. Um, and it's pretty cool, and I would really like to get my hands on the beta when it finally comes out. Uh, if it ever comes out in the beta as over here, because at the moment it's not in, the, in Europe, it's not available in Europe. And anyone inside Europe that does have a copy uh, is incredibly lucky, or they've been gifted it by someone else. So, um, so yeah, so hopefully uh, it's probably going to be another week or so before we hear about whether um, the beta will be going around in Europe or not, I don't know. But it looks really fun, and it's uh, a bit of a different... I've tried Magic the Gathering, and I don't really like it. But I think I'll really like this one. Um, and it's not the sort of game I normally play. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll watch this video and see what it's about, you know, just kind of out of curiosity. Um, and that was it. I kind of lost myself to watching... I, w <laughs> I was watching this guy streaming on Twitch. <laughs> and he started at about 11... Well, I, I started watching him about 11 a.m. Um, one morning. And it was like a charity live stream thing that he was doing. And it got to half past 11 at night and I realised I'd been watching him streaming Hearthstone all day. He was still going. I mean, I left at half 11 and he was still going. I mean, that was pretty incredible. And he hardly... I, he must have had like a catheter or something because I don't remember him ever going to the toilet. And I was like... Do you, did, have you? I, mean, I have. I know I have. I mean, I've been to the toilet several times while you've been streaming, but I don't know if you... Maybe you just had a bucket. I don't know. Maybe he had a hole in his chair. There's just a bucket underneath. I don't know. But that's, so that's some impressive skills if he didn't go at all. That's some... Well, I'm not sure if that's impressive skills or whether he needs to see a doctor. I don't know, but fair play. And he raised about $1,200 for this charity thing that he was doing so that's cool yeah it's all good maybe I'll do some streaming at some point of something perhaps I have a, tw a twitch account now so m maybe that's something I'll I'll try and do in the future oh and I've got DX Tory working properly now so um, I'll be able to record some things that fraps wouldn't allow me to like uh, trials try to record some trials uh, and that didn't work with Fraps. Fraps was like, no, I'm going to lag your game really badly, and I'm going to make it so that you still have waiting for players messages in the middle of your screen, so you can't use any of this footage. And I was like, mm, thanks, Trials. Thanks, Fraps. So hopefully, uh, DX Tory, it will work. I think I've gone on for long enough now. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping to catch up with videos over the next week or so uh, because I'm not because I haven't done anything like uh, I've not I've not been able to do any recording or uploading for the last like three weeks really apart from my bloodstock stuff. Um, I'm probably a, I'm a bit out of touch with what I have uploaded, what I haven't uploaded. Uh, I think I don't think I've got any raw footage of stuff that needs to be rendered or anything apart from this. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get back on it soon, and um, and we'll get back into the swing of things very soon. All right, cool, lovely, lovely jubbly stuff. Uh, I'll see you again next Sunday, hopefully. Okay, bye.